The Quran states that Jesus was assumed into heaven, and the tradition maintains that he was spared this death because he was God's holy one. Further, Muslims believe that the enemies of Jesus could have no victory over him. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan. And your girl Funny Loser. And we are Funny Hi. Jesse. So, right about now, we're going to do another reaction. But before we get into the reaction, guys, I want to thank everybody who has been subscribing to the channel. You're the realest MVP. And for the people who have been giving us reaction videos, you're also the realest MVP. If you are new to this channel, we're Funny Jesse. We do all kind of reaction videos just for you to just give give us any reaction videos i'm gonna do it for you so right about now uh we're gonna do a reaction video that was suggested by a lot of people and this one right here uh they suggested that we should go react to what does the catholic nun think about the muslim jesus so without any further ado guys let's get it who do they say that i am that is a question that jesus posed to his disciples and the answers they offered revealed how they thought of Jesus after they experienced his healing and teaching and how they understood his life and mission. Such insights are continual as each generation of followers contemplates that question, our understanding of Jesus and his message deepens. In the same way, learning how Muslim communities who also venerate Jesus answer this question might be equally revealing to Catholics and foster new avenues for interreligious dialogue. In the Quran, Jesus, Isa, is mentioned 25 times, conveying various titles for him. The Quran says that Jesus was born of the Virgin, Mary, and is high honored in this and the next world. Thus, the special title for him is simply Jesus, son of Mary, or Isa bin Maryam in Arabic. Also, the Quran refers to Jesus with other titles, spirit from God, the Messiah, someone blessed by God, word from and of God, and prophet, messenger of God. Muslims throughout the ages, even today, reflect on the Quranic verses about Jesus. Central to these reflections is their belief that Jesus is a prophet who was given a special message, the gospel, Injil, to convey to all people. This message, both confirmed in the teaching of the Torah and foretold the coming of the prophet Muhammad. The Hadith texts, which are also records of the words and actions of the prophet Muhammad, convey how the Muslim community understands the life and message of Jesus as prophet. And this includes recollections of Jesus' ethical teachings. As servant, teacher, and lover of God's word, Jesus performed many miracles, such as healing the sick and raising the dead. In this way, Jesus was assigned to all humankind of God's mercy. However, Muslims do not believe Jesus was divine, the Son of God. The Christian concept of original sin does not exist in Islam, so Jesus is not considered a savior, the one who redeems humankind. Moreover, Muslims do not believe in Jesus' crucifixion and death. The Quran states that Jesus was assumed into heaven, and the tradition maintains that he was spared this death because he was God's holy one. Further, Muslims believe that the enemies of Jesus could have no victory over him because he was God's chosen servant. There are hadith that draw from the ethical teachings of Jesus and focus on the cultivation of moral traits, such as humility and simplicity. For example, recalling that after Jesus made a request of the apostles, they fulfilled it immediately, Jesus stood up and washed their feet. The apostles said, it would have been more proper for us to have done this to you, O Spirit of God. Then Jesus said, Verily, it is more fitting for one with knowledge to serve the people. Indeed, I humbled myself only so that you may humble yourselves among the people after me, even as I have humbled myself among you. Then Jesus said, Wisdom is developed by humility, not by pride. And likewise, plants only grow in soft soil, not in stone. 
Major classical and modern Islamic thinkers have commented on these teachings concerning Jesus' life and message. Abu Hamad al-Ghazali, an 11th century philosopher, theologian, and jurist, who is one of the most influential figures in the Islamic tradition, encourages Muslims to pray as Jesus prayed. Another influential scholar and poet of the Islamic tradition, Ibn Arabi, calls Jesus seal of the friend of God, Wilaya, because he possessed the highest knowledge of God, intimacy with God. The contemporary Lebanese scholar, Mahmoud Ayyub, has developed an Islamic Christology, exploring how Jesus as Christ exemplifies fulfilled humanity, the idea of being illumined by God's light. While it is true that the Islamic tradition about Jesus differs from Catholic teaching, it is also true that we share some common beliefs and affections. One, Catholics and Muslims believe in the virgin birth of Jesus to his blessed mother Mary. Two, Muslims and Catholics have profound respect for the mystery of God's word among us. And three, Catholics and Muslims share a love for Jesus and a willingness to learn from his life and teaching as we seek happiness with God in this life and the next. Speaking about interreligious dialogue, the Church reminds us that such insights and commonalities can foster productive conversations between Christians and Muslims. This is Sister Mary Ann Farina for the Amir Stein Center. This video was produced in collaboration with Alliance of Virtue. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any new videos. Wow. <clears throat> I think it's just a self-explanatory thing. Um, I have nothing much to talk about the video. I think it's just like, you can just see it. But uh, the thing is, Catholic nun. Was she really Catholic nun? Something. You went to that? No, anyway, um, such a nice video, so informative. I mean, um, you can see the similarities between, no similarities, like what the Catholic believe about Jesus and what the Muslims also believe about Jesus. Basically, Catholics are Christians, so you can say Christians and Muslims believe about Jesus. I think it's just the same thing. Then I wanted to ask, mm -hmm. um, there's a video we watched by, I think, Amit. Why did you always look out there? No, just look close. No, I put this thing. Because mm -hmm. there's a video we watched where Amid that said something to do with Jesus being a spirit. You mm -hmm. know when after he rose from the dead he went to see his disciples? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he made a point of if he was a spirit, why did they see him? Mm -hmm. But then when you look at this, she's saying that spirit of God. they refer to, to Jesus, Jesus as the spirit, spirit of God. Yeah. So I'm confused. So where does what what are we supposed to believe? Was he a spirit of God in human flesh or what? Because either way, human beings are, are, are occupied by spirits. Yeah, that's true. Spirits are everywhere. But then, well, that's just complicated. My second, the second thing I wanted to ask is, um, should also another similarity be the rosary? Mm. I'm just thinking, I'm adding to whatever we watch. It can't be, but... It uh, can or cannot uh, be? I think it cannot be. It cannot? Yeah. Reason but uh, since, since, since also Catholics also use the... That's what I'm saying. For, I'm looking for at prayer. Catholics and Muslims. Yeah. And Muslims, there's a bead. I don't know what's the name of the bead that they normally use. If anybody knows, just let us know in the comment section below. I normally see my Muslim friends carry and they pray as they... I don't not know. just your friends, I mean I've seen a couple of yeah. people walk with them. I think it's just, um, there's some correlation there, something like that. 
I'm not 100% sure about it. Just let us know in the comment section what is the thing that they carry. Because also the Catholics, they do have the, the, the bracelet or maybe the, what do you call this? Like a chain, a, a chain sort of. Necklace, yeah, necklace, yeah. And then it has beads too that leads all the way to the cross. Yeah. Mm. But then also this makes you realize that with every denomination there's some similarities yeah, to another yeah, yeah. religion. Yeah. I mean there's some... Uh, you said denominations or you say the with religion? Every different denomination. There's ah, yeah. similarities that exist with other religions. Oh yeah, 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 sure, sure. Like Christians, you know, we have a lot of denominations which we... Uh, we praise the same God, but there's a way of channeling their spirit to God. But there are similarities to other religions, you get it? So it's just... It's just a good time to learn about such things, because... I mean, if we can't learn about this, who's gonna make us learn about these things? It's just us. And sacrificing our own time to just find these videos and learn and also making people learn too because these are things that have they might be there in my head or or maybe i've just read somewhere but i'm like ah maybe it's just uh you know maybe it's a it's a it's a it's a, it's a pseudoscience type of thing you get it but now somebody just talked about it and it's 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 somehow realistic and something to even think about. It's always good to um, bring out the similarities in something, mm -hmm. in religion or anything else. Yeah, just let us know what you think in the comment section below. What do you think about the, the video that you've done right now? Anyway, guys, if you feel like you reacted to this video in a better way, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to go down our comment section tell us exactly what you feel about our reaction and what you feel about this video right here. Just let us know what you think on the comment section below. And also, the most important thing is don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Then we keep on subscribing. Then we give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better, better content. And last but not the least, see you in the next video. And peace out.